Welcome to Ease with me, Namita Purohit. I'm a professional life coach. I base my life coaching practice and training programs on Eastern wisdom and Western psychology. Join Ease if you're looking to get coached or become a coach yourself. Proper grieving is vital for moving forward from abuse. Encountering abuse can be a traumatic experience that can leave long-lasting effects on an individual. It is not uncommon for survivors of abuse to feel a sense of grief and loss as they come to terms with the damage that has been done to them. And here are three things that survivors may need to grieve after encountering abuse. Number one, years invested and damage undergone. Survivors of abuse may need to grieve the years they invested in a relationship or situation that ultimately caused them harm. They may feel a sense of regret or guilt for not recognizing the signs of abuse earlier or for staying in the situation for as long as they did. Additionally, survivors may need to grieve the damage that was done to them in those years, both physically and emotionally. They may experience a range of emotions such as anger, rage, sadness, frustration as they try to come to terms with the fact, the impact that that abuse had on their lives. Grieving the years invested and damage undergone can be a difficult process, but it is an important step in the healing journey. It is important for survivors to seek support from loved ones or a professional therapist to help them process their emotions and work through their grief. Loss of relationship or lack of it is the second thing that survivors of abuse need to grieve. So you're grieving the loss of that relationship or the lack of a healthy relationship in their life, the feeling of sadness or the longing for the relationship that they thought they had or for the relationship that they never got to have. In case of intimate partner abuse, survivors may have invested a significant amount of time and energy into the relationship only to have it end in betrayal and pain. They may grieve the loss of the person they thought they knew or the loss of the future that they had planned together. In case of familial abuse or abuse from a friend, survivors may grieve the loss of a relationship that they had hoped would be supportive and loving. They may feel a sense of betrayal and confusion as they try to reconcile the abusive behavior with the person they thought they knew. It is important for survivors to remember that loss in a few abusive relationship is not a loss at all. It is an opportunity to move forward and build healthy relationships in the future. And you may seek support from a professional uh, Team Ease life coach or join a support group, which we also have at Team Ease, to help you process your feelings and learn new skills for building healthy relationships. And finally, the third thing that survivors need to grieve is the loneliness that comes with healing from abuse. It can be a very long and difficult journey and you may feel isolated and alone as you work through your emotions and memories. And you may also feel a sense of loneliness as you begin to set boundaries in relationships and remove toxic people from their lives, from your life. And it can be challenging to rebuild a support system and find new healthy relationships after experiencing abuse. And it's important for survivors to know that you're not alone. There are many resources available such as one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching, group coaching, uh, support community at ease and we, we can provide you the connection and support during your healing journey. Now what happens when you do not grieve? Why am I emphasizing that you need to grieve the loss of these things in your relationship? Is that you have lost these things and when you grieve them, it helps you acknowledge the pain and work through your emotions. And without proper grieving, survivors may continue to carry unresolved feelings of anger, guilt and sadness, which can have negative effects on your physical, emotional, psychological and spiritual well-being. Now, when you don't properly grieve the years invested and damage undergone, then you may struggle to move on from the trauma and experience symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder, sleepless nights, waking up with palpitations, fearful of certain smells, colors, names, uh, so many different things and just losing your sense of self and confidence and a lot of anxiety as well. And similarly now, if you do not grieve the loss of a relationship or a lack of healthy relationship in your life, you may continue to experience feeling loneliness, isolation, low self-esteem and it becomes difficult then to form new relationships and it can negatively impact your sense of self-worth. And this proper grieving is important because it allows you to work through your emotions and begin your healing process. And it can help you also get a sense of closure as you sit with those feelings, heal those feelings and you move forward in your life. And seeking support from your loved ones or a team ease coach through group coaching or one-on-one -on -one coaching can be an important step in this process. 
Now, encountering abuse is a very difficult and traumatic experience that can leave survivors with a sense of grief and loss. And it is important that you acknowledge and grieve the years invested, the damage undergone, the loss of the relationship or the lack of it and the loneliness that comes from healing. And with proper support and self-care, survivors can move forward in their healing journey and build a brighter future. Now, as you try to practice these things, if you need help, if you need support, if you need coaching, if you need, you need someone to help you, you know, follow a stepwise process and to help you be confident in your own self so that you know you're on the right track, have a place to discuss, have a place to talk, have a place to learn, then please consider joining our life coaching membership, the Ease Life Coaching Membership. We have different tiers. We have courses, we have uh, group coaching, and we have one-on-one -on -one coaching. And uh, we look forward to serving you inside. So please go to my website, www.manitapurohit.com and go to the Get Coaching page, that link in that menu, and, and find the information that I'm talking about. And we look forward to serving you in accelerating your journey of becoming emotionally secure and stable and self-partnered and growing and glowing within your own self.